Okay, let's welcome on board Neera Chandavar, Head Qualitative Equity Research at Access Securities, now to talk to us about some more mid-cap as well as large-cap bets for 2023 as well. Neera Jai, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, or rather good afternoon. First up, let's talk about the index level itself. You have a bull case target of 22,500 at the Nifty, so the base case is closer to around 20,400. What's your own expectation at the index level of how the year 2023 is likely to pan out? Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, so recently we have come up with our topics report highlighting that style and sector rotation will be the key for going forward and uh, amidst the uh, volatile macroeconomic situation. From last couple of months, Indian, Indian equity market has shown resilience and it outperformed the, all the global equity market by a superior margin thanks to our economic, our uh, robust economic outlook. We are quite bullish on India, uh, India, India growth story and we are quite optimistic. Uh, six uh, or six to eight uh, odd months back, uh, we uh, when we entered into the rate hike cycle, we set the Nifty target of eighteen thousand four hundred for March twenty three, uh, and uh, we uh, and we achieved that target well in advance. Now after the Q two, we roll over our Nifty uh, Nifty target to December two thousand twenty three at uh, at twenty thousand four hundred. That is our base case assumption, which could provide you nine to ten percent upside from the current level. Uh, as the current setup is uh, is a buy on dips market because the current VIX level is well below the long term average. That means that market is not in an exuberance, not in a in a panic zone. So the, it's well well for buy and dips market. We we uh, advise our investor to uh, maintain a good liquidity around ten percent uh, and and use dips in a phase manner with a view of next 12 to 18 months we uh, in this report we have also highlighted our bull case and the base case scenario in bull case we assume uh, we assume uh, we we apply the 22x multiple to nifty uh, nifty 50 for this and we come up with a target of 22500 for december uh, december 23 by valuing and valuing on 22x on december 24 earning we believe that uh, most, we, we are on the work, on the last leg of rate hike cycle and uh, and sometime in the mid of 2023 fed that's uh, the raising rate and uh, if if the market sail through the next 6 to 9 months smoothly we could see the next right, level of triggers will be emerging in the market right so got the point about nifty that's a substantial upside even from the current level but you know when you see such upside it will not be that all nifty 50 stocks will do well so what are your top large cap picks and why so at this juncture, uh, we, uh, we, uh, the the market is the market positioning is shifted towards banks and the domestic cyclical stocks. So we like banks, and we uh, currently we are holding we in our topics recommendation we are recommending ICSA Bank and SBI, and in in the mid cap we are bullish on the Federal Bank. Uh, uh, along with the banking sector, we are very bullish on the domestic cyclical recovery, and that is the reason we have added recently PNC infra infra in our uh, in a topics recommendation. As the H2 is likely to be better for the infra companies, and uh, PNC infra is well efficient company and likely to gain more traction in H2. Uh, along with that, uh, we, uh, we are very uh, bullish on the. Uh, uh, we, we are uh, recently added Infosys in our topics recommendation. Uh, what we are seeing that. The, the the there is a meaningful correction is already done in the it index it is it index is already corrected from 32x on one year forward pe to the currently trading at 22x and uh, it has already made a bottom in the during the month of september and we are seeing recovery in the it index in the month of october sure. and continued in november and that is the reason we believe that most of the slowdown risk is already corrected uh, already factor in the current and valuation it is a good time to enter a small bit of allocation towards it index okay so that, good that time to enter into it and that's the reason you've added emphasis while reduced bata as well as added pnc infratech mm -hmm. but just before we let you go neeraj wanted your take regarding a couple of specific counters as far as Varun Beverages is concerned, we have seen quite a bit of upside on that counter. Where do you see that one headed? Plus, the likes of CCL products and Praj Industries from the small cap space is something that you like. Can you explain the rationale? So, uh, so Varun Beverages is a good good growth story. And uh, right now, what we are seeing in the post-COVID world, uh, the, the entire economy has opened up and we are seeing on-the-go consumption has increased. And along with that, in-house consumption has also increased. So Varun Beverages is now entered into the uh, untapped uh, uh, territory of South and West India and, and, and the underpenetrated category of East India and companies seeing good traction in that category, uh, that, uh, that territories. And we, we, we believe that in upcoming months, 
a company will continue to deliver good performance going forward. Coming down to CCL product, CCL product is a uh, instant coffee maker, and and we believe that company is a good po poise for growth in next three year. We are as we are expecting uh, profitability to go uh, go double from here on over here, and and the ROE uh, company could achieve what uh, more than twenty percent ROE in FY twenty four and twenty five, and that believes the case for good investment opportunity at current juncture. All right, Neeraj. Thanks so much for taking our time for us. Good to get perspective uh, from you. Now let's, uh, you know, you. go across and see what's happening in the world.